Hi, I'm Leo Leung, a Senior Product Manager for Oracle Cloud. And today I'm going to talk about the differences between running an enterprise application on-premises versus in the cloud. So when you think about running an application on-premises like an Oracle eBusiness Suite, which is a classic back office type of application, what happens is most enterprises do two things. They have an infrastructure with some servers, with database servers, with storage. And they do two things. They provision for peak, meaning they put a lot of infrastructure in place to handle peak demand or handle peak reporting cycles, which means a lot of that capacity is not used at normal times. So let's add a few servers here to show that. The other thing that happens is there's never one instance of an application. There's typically between four and six instances per production instance. And these are for things like user acceptance testing or security testing. or just quality assurance. Okay, so now you've multiplied that very big environment by many times. Whether you're talking about physical infrastructure or even if you're virtualizing it, you have a lot of capacity that's not used. That's your on-prem world. Multiply this by 1,000 or 10,000 applications, which is what a typical enterprise has, and you can imagine how much infrastructure you're consuming. Now, when you move to the cloud, what's possible is Again, two things. So let's say you run that same eBusiness Suite application in the cloud. You're going to consume resources like a compute, like database services, like storage. But instead of over provisioning for peak, what you can do is you can scale on demand. So depending on the cloud, there's varying degrees of ability to scale, but you will definitely get some amount of cost savings by being able to run at a normal level instead of over-provisioning, and then scaling when you need to, for example, for end-of-month reporting or for peak demand in the holiday season. So there's auto-scaling of your various infrastructures. The second thing you could do in the cloud is instead of carrying capacity and infrastructure for all these different environments per application, you can spin them up on demand. So let's say you have a new version of software that you want to test before you roll it out in production. You can clone your environment, spin up that infrastructure for that time, let's say three months, and when you're done, you can just shut it off. Okay, so in, again, instead of a four to eight times infrastructure per application, it's really one point something, and you spin up these environments as you need them. Security patching, great. When you're done, turn it off, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so those are two key concepts around moving enterprise applications into the cloud. There are certain things that Oracle can do that uh, are unique to us. We have special tools for certain applications that automate these things, that allow even application admin administrators to be able to clone environments, to be able to spin up environments and turn them down, to be able to auto scale or do autonomous functions in the database layer. But these are the general benefits you get by moving from on-prem into the cloud. All right, thanks so much for your time.